brought his ashes to scatter. That's, and she said Mercer's in the first. Yes. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Uh, yes. Catherine O'Hara and Brian Cranston are here from Argyle. In theaters and IMAX worldwide tomorrow. It's soon available to stream on Apple TV+. Plus. It's a romance thriller comedy, which I love. It's three things I love. It's basically. more than that. Yes, and even more. <laughs> it is. Uh, behind the bar, we have our buddies from the Harlem Globetrotters, Hot Rod De La Rosa and Thunder Law. You can get tickets uh, at Harlem Globetrotters. Dot com. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, do you, do most of the Globetrotters, have most of you played pro and then you become a Globetrotter or do you, or is it different? So all of us, we have different stories and unique backgrounds. For me, um, I was drafted out of the, yes, the Harlem Globetrotters had the annual draft. And I was a lucky player that was drafted in 2013. Wow. So this is my professional. This is my career, what I wanted to do, and I'm excited. Living a dream. Wow. Living a dream. And you too? And for me, uh, I did play pro. I played in China, Thailand, Malaysia, Republica Dominicana, Nicaragua. Yeah. And <laughs> this is year three with the Harlem Globetrotters for me. Wow. Yeah. Well, playing with the Globetrotters has to be the most fun. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's so much fun. And but yeah. you're going to come to the game. I'm going to come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come. Well, we're excited to be here. We love New York City. We're going to be here uh, for two shows. We're going to be at Barclays. Um, on the 18th, MSG on the 24th. Yeah. And you, if, for my West Coast viewers, you can check us out at Crypto on the 25th. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so. I will see you uh, at Madison Square Garden. Let's go back to the virtual fans, Alyssa and Jeannie, Janine from Chicago. What's your question for Catherine O'Hara? Hi, everyone. We love you all. <laughs> Our question is, Something is crazy. there any truth to the rumor that you're in discussions to join the cast of The Last of Us for season two? Oh, I have. How do you know that. these things? Wow. <laughs> is that is that in discussion? It's in dis yeah. yeah. Wait, how do you what do you NBA, work on the show? NBA. <laughs> they do. And you're about to quit and you just yeah, want to give everything away. No, no. <laughs> and my yeah. son's a set dresser on the show. So oh, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll wow. Get to see him too. How cool. How many kids do you have? Seventy-three. No, I have uh, two. You have two. two. Yeah. Are, are, are they both in the business? One is set construction, and one is set dresser. My husband's a production designer, so he gave oh, me a little. Oh wow! Uh, uh, the family the business. Yeah, but they're both doing really well at it, so I'm happy. That's for them. great. How cool! Here's Maria. You must have an amazing home if your oh, husband is a set. No, it is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I bet. But no, it's his money, so no, he's when he's designing for somebody else, it's their money. Yeah, so, right. So no. Uh, here's Maria and Mike from New what Jersey. What pressure that must be when it somebody is, yeah. comes over and goes, well. <laughs> Look at the yeah, right. shades. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know, he's a professional. Look at that. And you say he does yeah. this for a living. It's right, a living. right. Yeah. Here's uh, Maria and Mike from Jersey with a question for Brian Cranston. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> how you Hi. doing? Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> we got Jersey in the house. I mean, check this out. With parking dogs. Um, is Brian, is there a role you can now admit that you only took because it would help pay the bills? Ooh. Oh, God, yes. Uh, everything in the first 10 years of my career. Right. It's like basically, and I encourage every actor to do that. It's, it's about paying your bills is right. And your your acting classes and things. And you get on-set experience. So yeah. you learn as you go. And so you have to endure those really terrible, you know, first roles you have that that you don't get a name like I was a drunken frat boy and <laughs> right and you, did you do soap customer and I was all those guys yeah did you do soaps oh uh, yeah I did a soap for two years what'd you do loving loving loving, loving. wow yes, yes. was trucker oh. on loving Trucker. Is there a character named trucker on might loving? have been yes. but I I only did it for the first two friend. years and then <laughs> Yeah, he had I didn't. Great yeah. head of hair. A trucker. Yeah, that's how. So his familiar. name was Trucker. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was a trucker. trucker. No, yeah. no, uh, <laughs> I don't know. But did you learn a lot? I mean, oh my god, I, I've heard that it for an actor, it actually is incredible. It's unbelievable. Oh, soap yeah. opera. Yeah. yeah, very it's so difficult. fast, isn't it? For you? 15, 20 pages a night. Once you're done with that during the day, you throw that away. You go home. You learn the next. 15 to 20 pages for the next day. You do that, yeah. throw that away. Another, So you're constantly memorizing, and it's it's hard. It's hard work. Were you always looking for your mark, too, before you spoke? I like that. That's, where have you been? Yeah, you try to disguise uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, well, the soap opera that you did on SCTV... Uh, no, um, days was of the week. Days of the week. Sunday. Yes. 
Monday. <laughs> and you played that very rich, drunk lady, and Andrea Martin was Andrea your was kind of mute maid. maid. Yes, yeah. she was. It was yeah. so How fun. big is your son? Is he better, bigger than a teacup? Yes. <laughs> yes, Mojo. Mojo, <laughs> yes! Oh, my God, that's amazing. Um, I'd like to see a reunion of SETV. I would, yeah, too. Day. Oh, my God. Uh, as long can as you, we're living. Can you let us know if something's happening? Oh, I yeah. never. No, oh, yes, I would tell you. Yeah, that. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you oh care. my gosh! I do care. Uh, no, you don't. By the way, last question. <laughs> Oli- I was a huge fan. <laughs> Olivia N wants to know: um, Has Willie Nelson responded to you saying you'd want to play him in a biopic? I mean, this this is a very good. Well, that's good casting. I think I, I think it's because I I have that weathered you know beaten no, down ro- no, no, on no, the no, road no. look, um, and someone said, "What do you think?" And I go, "I think I look like." Uh, like Willie Nelson, I could probably yeah. play him and do <laughs> all the girls I've loved before. Yeah. There you go. You're halfway there. Um, I mean, that's more than no, half. Yeah, I know. Like You're there. Say. You're there. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, uh, all right. Well, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it. Yes. Yeah, it, it needs a little work. It needs some workshopping. Yes. Oh, no, yes. You're, there. you're there. Yeah. You just need uh, the braids. That's all you're That's all it Yeah, that's it. And weed. Oh, and we a lot of weed. I'll set you up before yep, you leave. That's tonight. all we need. Okay, I want to thank Catherine and Brian and the Harlem Globetrotters. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody.